Gemma Simmons is a brilliant scientist and loyal agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. in the wonderful show Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but at the end of the show's second season, something super sinister happened. She was sucked into a big black alien artifact that we have no information on. So what really happened to her? Let's find out. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the show with issues. I'm Orem, and yesterday the premiere episode of season three of the aforementioned Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. premiered. At the time of this recording, I haven't actually seen the episode, so the question is still on my mind. What the hell happened to Simmons? There are some popular theories floating around the internet, along with a couple I've come up with myself. So let's get started. <laughs> Let's start with some of the more prevailing theories. The biggest theory right now, and we even have some confirmation on this, is that the monolith is a portal and that Simmons was transported somewhere. This is where my theory comes into play. I believe that Simmons was taken to Hala, the homeworld of the Kree. For those unaware, Hala in the comics is the birthplace and homeworld of the Kree and houses the supreme intelligence, the Kree's fearless leader. Elizabeth Henstridge has talked in interviews about how the changes that the monolith have done to her character will affect her throughout the season. This could be that she's just super intelligent about alien in artifacts and culture now, seeing as she spent some time on Hala, and maybe even had tea with the Supreme Intelligence. Of course, this is the very optimistic version of this theory. We have to adhere to the facts, and really the only one we have here is that the artifact is somehow very dangerous to Inhumans. If it were a portal to the homeworld of the Kree, the creator of the Inhumans, then we can probably deduce why the Inhumans are so afraid of it. I mean, there was even an episode of the second season where a Kree comes to Earth and tries to take Sky back to Hala because she's so dangerous. Now, I'm no Kree, but I'm I'm pretty sure whatever they do to the Inhumans on their home planet isn't too pretty. Bouncing off of the monolith being dangerous to the Inhumans, another theory states that the artifact is a prison for a certain Inhuman. One of the villains that we've heard of for season three so far is Lash, a very powerful Inhuman whose goal in the comics is to judge whether or not an Inhuman is worthy of the powers given to them by Black Bolt's Terrigen Bomb. Some people are speculating, wildly I might add, that the monolith will turn Simmons into Lash somehow. Now, yes, this is crazy and honestly pretty much debunked at this point because of Cat Casting, but it does lead into another theory. What if the monolith gives Simmons some kind of superpower? As we all know, the monolith is a Kree artifact of Kree origin, so it's not too far-fetched to say that it could present a form of terrogenesis, or even do a Max-style guardian transformation. Going off of the terrogenesis theory, it's possible that Simmons is an inhuman. There really hasn't been much evidence against this, and honestly, it would be a very interesting move, character development speaking. Simmons started to show a huge apprehension to power people in season two, so giving her powers and making her deal with it would be a very interesting interesting arc, especially seeing as it would mirror that of Fitz's development in Season 2 after the brain damage. Going back to that Guardian transformation, the monolith could be a Kree device used to instantly train people to be able to take down Inhumans. It could be another case like the Diviners, where there are so many of them all over the world, theirs or ours, that gives you the ability and know-how to kill an Inhuman. It might not be evident at first, but imagine that Simmons was left alone in a room with Skye and just started going crazy trying to kill her. Again, pretty insane theories here, but that's why they're theories. Moving on to another theory involving time travel. This one doesn't have much meat to it and really is just basing off of the fact that the artifact took Simmons some time away. Some speculate that she went back in time and tried to kill Ward and failed, which maybe would make her a more dark character in this season. Another theory on the time travel front is that when she returns from whenever she was, the team and everyone at S.H.I.E.L.D. would have no memory of her existence. She would have to build relationships and trust back up again, and I wouldn't put it past the writers to do this just so we don't get our Fitzsimmons date. Now for a more comic-based theory. The monolith is a key plot device in the Secret Invasion of the Skrulls. For those unaware, Secret Invasion in the comics was an event published back in 2008, where the Skrulls, a shape-shifting alien race, revealed themselves to have been hiding among Earth for years. The results of this event left many fans confused at how long their favorite characters had not been themselves, and even left Norman Osborn in charge of S.H.I.E.L.D. This one actually has me really excited, because if it's true, it would just be another reason for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to directly influence and be a part of the movies. Basically, the theory states that the monolith is used to capture people from Earth and spit a scroll replacement back out. Of course, this theory has its holes, like the monolith being of Kree origin, not scroll, but that can easily be patched up. The MCU has shown that it's not too afraid to make changes to the source material, so why not make a small race of Kree able to shapeshift? This theory could lead into the possible overarching plot of Phase 4, and that's honestly why it doesn't hold much ground. I find it very hard to believe that Marvel Studios would start releasing Phase 4 story content five years before anything is released for that. It would just end up being three seasons of build-up, really. Alright, I've saved the best for last. Going back to the monolith being a portal, what if it takes Simmons to an alternate reality? We've already pretty much seen that the MCU is in a different multiverse than that 
out of the comics and other properties, so what if the MCU's 616 has a 1610? What if the artifact takes Simmons to a cold, desolate, war-bound world called the Ultimate Universe? In this world, Coulson was never resurrected, S.H.I.E.L.D. is led with an iron fist by Victoria Hand, the Ultron threat is still ever-present, etc. Ultron's Sokovia mission succeeded in this reality, and in the process, Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow, and Hawkeye all died because S.H.I.E.L.D. never sent a helicarrier to rescue them and the citizens of the city. Simmons would make her way around the world trying to meet up with S.H.I.E.L.D. and would eventually find out that the splinter groups of Inhumans are attempting to rebel against Ultron and take him down. Eventually, she would be spat back out of the monolith with the knowledge of everything on the other world and the existence of alternate realities. This would present an awesome amount of character development for Simmons, and really for the MCU as a whole. Introducing alternate realities could be a fun thing to do in the show, especially to be tied into a movie like Doctor Strange later on. So there you are, a bunch of crazy theories on what happened to Simmons. Of course, all of these theories are just that, theories, and are just here to present the ideas. Personally, I do believe that Simmons was definitely taken somewhere in space. Could be Hala, could be the Dark World, could be Asgard, the list goes on. But of course, that's it for this week. Talk about your own personal theories regarding Simmons' disappearance, or just elaborate on the ones that I presented in the comments. Before you leave, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. That all being said, thank you so much for watching. Next time, after the fall of a hero, I put on a costume that's in really, really poor taste and go around and, and shoot people. You know what I mean.